This one's for Weeba. This one's for Weeba. The star of the Academy Awards. She didn't win an Academy Award. Come on in. I'm just singing a little Reba McIntyre. There's so much pain and anger in the world. But we're going to give you some Reba. Just Reba. Hey, welcome on everybody. Come on in. It's Reba. She performed at the Academy Awards, but she lost. But she's a winner in our hearts, Reba. Did you guys watch the legendary Academy Awards? Wasn't it just fun? Oh, yeah. Hi, baby. Come on in, everybody. Just a little country music to warm us up and everybody come on in here. I'm Reba. I didn't win the Academy Award, but I wasn't necessarily a loser either, because I'm Reba. Did you guys watch the Academy Awards? The most glamorous and most important night in Hollywood. You know, I live in Hollywood, and it's an important night for me then, because I live here. Come on in, everybody. We've got so much to discuss. Um, welcome to Turtle Trash Live. Come on in. This is the show where I talk about Turtle Trash and I give you all the headlines and gossip. And there's just so much to get into and so much to be respectful of. Like, do you guys like Reba's performance at the Academy Awards? She's a national treasure. Come on in, everybody. Now, of course, I'm sure you've heard about the, all the excitement that happened at the Academy Awards. You know, where there was um, Will Smith. Did you guys see Will Smith slap Chris Rock? Oh, well, honey, I've got some more information, exclusive information, because that was not the only slap that happened. Will Smith wasn't the only star that slapped another star. There were other stars that slapped other stars. So, and I have the tea on exactly who it is. And it's more than one. Come on in, everybody. Do you want to know which other star slapped other stars? I'm sure you do. I have a Patreon now. Uh, you feel free to join my Patreon. I'm going to have exclusive uh, content coming up. And um, I'm going to have um, uh, a special Total Trash Live that's only for the Patreon this week. It was supposed to be after this week's show, but there were some technical problems. But it'll be this week, a special just for Patreon. I'm going to give you the slap tea, and there's so much to get to. Speaking of slap tea, honey, I love slap tea. Honey, that Academy Awards, did you guys watch and live? Were you guys shocked? Oh my God, honey. Chris Rock made that joke about Will Smith's wife's head. And Will Smith was not jiggy with it. And he went up on stage and slapped Chris Rock right in the head. And, the, you know, a lot of people were shocked by the slap or upset by the slap. I was more upset when, when he sat down and was screaming. Because I don't like loud screaming. I don't like loud talking. Especially in public. When I go to a restaurant, I always hear somebody talking so damn loud. Why can't people control their volume? Patreon. There's a link to my Patreon in my profile. It's just like OnlyFans. I know the slap was heard around the world, honey. But there's more to it than that. I mean, there's other stars that got slapped. We're also going to discuss some of my favorite Academy Awards. You know, that's why I watch the Academy Awards. That's why I watch all award shows. It's because I like to see it go completely askew, completely crazy. And that award show went askew, honey. It was a mess. Then they cut away and they cut the audio. And then, <laughs> and then when Will Smith won the Academy Award, this first of all, this tea is so damn hot. I'm going to get slapped drinking it. Um... 
the Academy, when he won the Academy Award, then they had to cut away from his face because snot was coming out. I mean... <laughs> Somebody got killed at the Academy Awards. Oh, everybody was scared on Twitter. People were screaming. People were worried. Oh, it was just a mess. I mean, I loved it. I love an award show that goes askew. Do you go, I have my top, I'm going to tell you about some of my top um, award shows that go askew. Remember when Elizabeth Taylor couldn't figure out how to open up an envelope at the Golden Globes? Loved it. What about when Courtney Love threw compacts and Madonna's head at the Video Music Awards? Loved it. And this is my favorite moment. Where is the self-control? Honey, she didn't have any self-control. She went askew. But then she just came out and she apologized uh, to Chris Rock. So everything's fine. Everything's back to normal. We can all just go back to listening to the one and only Reba. Yeehaw, yeehaw. Hi, everybody. I'm Reba. I won't slap you. Oh, but I have information. There was other stars that slapped other stars. But before I can get to that, I'd like to introduce you to my co-host and my daughter, Lumina. This is my daughter. She's my co-host, as many of you know. How are you, girl? Hi. <gasps> Lumina! <gasps> Lumina by own daughter hit me! Oh, why is everybody slap happy? There's something in the water. Something is askew. Lumina! She's very moody. She's not from this planet. It's just getting adjusted. See? That kind of behavior is bad influence on our alien children. Oh, Reba. Poor Reba. She didn't win. Neither did Beyonce. Billy Eilish. I don't even, honey, that, do you guys like Billy Eilish's outfit? Honey, welcome to the Adams Family. It's, it's perfect tone for that crazy award show, Macabre. Help her. This is my favorite award show moment. I've shown this before, but I have to see it again. Here she is. Like my body. Want some money? Nothing tops this award show moment. Look at her. Where is she? Like my body. Want some money? Look at her. She's happy. I was honored to be on our next performer's new video. That's right. That's right, honey. Genius. And she's talking about me, of course. She's talking about me. Don't you? Isn't that the best award show moment? I mean, I know everyone's talking about the slap, but honey, that one with Anna Nicole Smith is the best award moment. Today's show is brought to you, of course, by Ashton Drake. We have a new Ashton Drake doll. It's a monkey. <laughs> Honey, wait a minute. First of all, Ashton Drake, who are you? Now you're just going to make a monkey? There's a chimp. <laughs> and guess who? I want it. I want this. Lumina needs another sister, not just Coco. Come here, honey. You want to see this chimp? Look at this chimp holding a tiger. Oh, it says, two best friends set up for excitement. His name's Milo, the safari monkey. He comes with a hat and a vest and boots and a jumper. He has posable and real touch vinyl skin. They always do. But do they? Honey, this is the Ashton Drake du jour monkey of the moment. Ah, oh, Ashton Drake. They did it again, honey. Did they? 
What did you guys now? Has anybody ever defended you like that? Has anybody ever slapped? Has your partner ever slapped anybody for you? Nobody's ever slapped anybody for me. I've been slapped. I was slapped once on stage doing improv because this person I was doing improv with couldn't, like, he froze and couldn't think of something to say, so he slapped me across the face. And I have a thing where I don't like my face even just a little bit touched. I don't even like a caress on my face. I don't like fingers on my face. And so I was not happy. So I slapped that bitch right back. And then he slapped me back. And then I slapped him back. And then it turned into like a weird Three Stooges sketch where there was only two people. I mean, that was a skew. That was an skew improv. Nobody cares about me that much to, to fight for me. Nobody's going to fight for me. Just on the ass, well, lucky you, girl. Now, slapping, people are all not talking about everybody that got slapped at the Academy Awards. I have, on good notification and good information, Reba McIntyre slapped Carrie Underwood. I don't even like, a, I don't like anything across my face. Jennifer Garner slapped Benifer, and that takes two hands. Liza Minnelli, why do you think she's in that wheelchair? She gave a high kick to Nicole Kidman right in the back of the neck, pulled her leg, and ended up in a wheelchair. Everyone's acting crazy at the Academy Awards. Jesse Smollett, she was there. She slapped herself. Medea slapped Tyler Perry. This is serious, you guys. This is really... This is really serious. People are attacking each other. Ugh. Remember Sherry Papini, the woman who kidnapped herself? Well, guess what she did? She slapped herself. It's just, I mean, what's going to happen at the Grammys? Honey, the, the award shows are taking to a whole new notch. Just attacking people, slapping. I'm here for it. I, I mean, I want someone to drive, through, uh, drive a car through the wall. I mean, I just want it to get crazier and crazier and crazier. Has anybody slapped you? That's right, honey. Now, who was your best dress at the Academy Awards? Mine was Lupita Nyong'o. And I also liked, um, um, what's his name? Oh, I Timothy Chalamet with no shirt. Honey, Timothy Chalamet showed up with no shirt. Um, Kristen Stewart showed up with no pants. They don't give a shit. Go good for them. Do what they want. Um, the best dressed man, um, I like the, um, oh, I forget what his name is. He was in Red Versace. Um, but, you know, it was, where was the glamour? Where was, the, where was the, uh, the fashion, honey? Where was the, the only, you know, the, the only glamour I saw was, like, Donatella Versace after the awards. They needed to bring back the glamour. They need to bring back the violence and bring back the glamour. Oh, I like Jessica Chastain, too. That was a good dress. Um, Pe uh, Penelope Cruz, she had a good dress. The worst dress? <laughs> oh, well, I didn't really care for Billy Irish in that black. Um, it looks like you use it to cover a grill. But it was perfect for the tone of that show, Macabre. And um, who else didn't I like? Um... Oh, I loved Rosie Perez. Oh my God, Rosie Perez outfit was great. Amy was, I liked the host. Amy was funny. Um, Wanda was funny. Regina was funny. I, that was all good. But I just, we need more, we need more, um, like we, they need to have like a um, mud wrestling next year. That, the, the slap should always be a category in that show now. Make it like best action sequence and they fight each other. But it's going to be a surprise. You never know who's going to attack who. Oh, I'm just here for it.
She got to see her Paul, P P Pamela Anderson is on Broadway. Honey, she's a Broadway star. I mean, she's doing Chicago. Everybody has done that show. Anybody and everybody can do Chicago. Oh, the Windy City. Oh, God. Is, so has anybody here ever, um, ever um, slapped somebody? And are we upset about this? I mean, I don't even know. I mean, I just, I don't, I really can't say anything about it because I like when award shows go askew. I really do. I watch them particularly to go absolutely crazy. Pamela Anderson is Roxy Hart. And the other one should be um, that um, Sherry Papini, the one who kidnapped herself. She should be in Chicago. She could do it. Ugh. I did see Pamela in Dancing with the Stars. I got slapped once, but I deserved it. I called her a bitch. Oh, you you did deserve that. Oh, I hope you don't try to slap me through the, this mechanism. Slapping. Oh, isn't that funny? Also, Will Smith has been kind of unraveling for a while. He wrote in that book. <laughs> he wrote in that biography that he, um, he couldn't climax during sex, or he would climax during sex and he would vomit. Honey, there's something askew. There's something askew with him. He's unraveling before our very eyes. God, stars are just unraveling. That should be a new reality show instead of dancing with the stars, unraveling the stars. And we just get to see like Jesse Smollett, Will Smith, you know, Courtney Love. Who else is unraveling? Amanda Bynes, Britney Spears. Ah, oh, me. Unraveling with the stars. Honey, these two are unraveling. Harry and Megan. It says, Harry and Megan, it's over. Can it please be over? I'm tired of this story. I wish these two would slap each other. My hat is askew. Ugh. But Reba McIntyre was there, honey. And she cried. Ugh. She, went, she didn't cry about the... the um, the attack. I think she cried about the memoriam. Well, mm. well let's get to these tabloids, honey, because I gotta get out of here and slap someone. There's a recording of Prince Charles telling Camilla he wants to be her tampon from the 1990s. Oh, I know, honey. It's a legendary recording. And wouldn't you want to be Camilla's tampon? Look at these two. Harry and Meghan, it's over. Uh, before that, though, there is a story about Will Smith and the Globe. Of course, this came out before the attack. But look at this story. Maybe this is something to do with why he was so upset. Look, Will Smith and Latifah feud over his wife. Everyone's fighting over Jada. Look at her in this pink shirt looking like a real closet case. Queen Latifah believes Jada is far too good for Will. <laughs> Jade and Latif have been spending more time together in Insider Spills. Three's a crowd when Jada hangs with lesbian pal. Oh my god, but Queen Latif is not out of the closet. Will Smith is freaking out over his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith's close friendship with lesbian equalizer star Queen Latifah, and it's feeling like she's being left out in the cold. Well, well maybe that's why he hit somebody, because he wanted to feel butch. He wanted to show... He wanted to show... Jada, that he's as, as butch as Latifah. Now Latifah has been hanging around more often and is rubbing the bad boy the wrong way. Latifah has no time for Will and thinks Jada is too good for him. She's encouraging Jada to do what she wants regardless of how Will feels. They've been spending more time together and talking more about joint projects that don't include him. Oh, he's just being left out. That's why he's very emotional. The last few years have been tough, but Will... Thought they were finally heading in the right direction until Latifah started biting in. So this is all Queen Latifah's fault? Oh my goodness. Honey, it's askew. She's the equalizer. Latifah came out of the closet? I don't think she did. I bet you, Queen, I bet you Will Smith doesn't hit Latifah. She can punch. Miley is twerks her butt off. <sighs> Flat bottom beauty wants to bring up the rear. She wants to fill out her fanny. 
for Max Morando. He likes he likes big butts and he cannot lie. Skinny curves may have not been enough fat to transfer her to her cheeks. Bummed out Miley Cyrus fierce her flabby rear may leave her younger bow feeling flat. She wants to get a Brazilian butt lift to plump up her profile. The, co the, the cosmetic procedure involves a surgeon using liposuction to collect tummy or back fat and injecting it into the buttocks. Miley does have some insecurities, especially when it comes to her body. Her flat butt has been giving her grief for some time, but she's finally going to do something about it. It does appear she may have rhinoplasty to thin her nose. What does that have to... Honey, this story is just all over the map. They went from her butt to her nose. Hollywood's most hated TV stars. Turn the channel on these stomach-turning jerks. Pat Sajak, honey, can I buy, I want to buy a, a J for jerk. Ellen, oh, she's always upset about something. It's probably that haircut. What's wrong with Whoopi? Look at this ding-dong. Here's another ding-dong. Dr. Phil Staff was accused this smug 70-year-old shrink of running a mentally unhe unhealthy workplace. Oh, I believe all of this. Why do people hate Samantha Guthrie? Today's show top dog, Savannah, 50, ruthlessly clawed her way to the top of the morning show heap. Behind the scenes, she's seen as a real pit bull. She's competitive. Oh, they, all, they don't allow women to be competitive. Look at this, it's gorgeous. Look at these heels. Just in, this, somebody could have worn this for the, the Academy Awards. The Nightmare Before Christmas cha-cha heels. <laughs> Delightfully frightful ornament collection, individually handcrafted, and the fine artist resonant capture every intricate detail. Jack-o'-lantern, ghost, gravestone, bat, spider webs. Only from the Bradford Exchange. Look at it. It's gorge. I'm going to wear that to the Academy Awards, but look at this. This is the perfect, this is something Reba would love this gift. Illuminated Atomic Clock Budweiser beer. You can have it out indoor and outdoor. Atomic clocks are completely self-setting and are accurate to the second. Atomic clocks, are they going to explode? This sounds, this sounds like this is some sort of terrorism. Is this, is this domestic terrorism? I mean, this is definitely d domestic decorating terrorism. This is disturbing. Here she is, honey, Sherry Papini, the woman that beat herself up. She bashed her head off a, a bathtub, cut her bangs, blamed two Mexican women. She's a real craze. She branded herself. California super bomb, super mom, Sherry Papini is facing up to 25 years. Sherry has been charged with mail fraud over her misused 300000 in funds. Oh, yes, yeah, she kept the GoFundMe money. She was released on 120000 bail probably because of GoFundMe. It's a case of calculated deception driven, I think, by her narcissistic behavior. Everyone's narcissistic. Everyone's slapping each other, hitting themselves, faking kidnapping, faking gay bashing. It's the funnest thing ever. That's it for the... There's, there was hardly any good stories this week in the tabloids. But luckily, we had that Academy Award askewness. I went to, the, um, I went to Las Vegas the, this past week. And honey, if you want to talk fashion, honey, Las Vegas is all the fashion. It has cargo shorts. It has burnt perm hair. Um, somebody had their shoes off while I was eating dinner outside of the restaurant. Classy. Honey, if you want to talk about a skew, Las Vegas. I went and I went in then I like I do like a little bit of the um the um slot machines. I don't like to like gamble, play poker, I don't know how to play games. I, I never play mental games, okay? But I don't know how to play like game games. I don't like games. So like I like clue, I can play clue. 
But um, I, speaking of Clue, I did a deep d- d- um, dive. Uh, one of uh, the Total Trash Live viewers sent me a story. And if anybody has stories they would like me to investigate, I'm happy to do it. Heidi Montag accused Lady Gaga of being mean. Because when they were both coming up and recording albums, she told, Heidi Montag told her producer, no, Lady Gaga told her producer to not work with Heidi Montag. I'm not exactly sure who my, Heidi Montag is, and I even might be saying the name wrong. Is that the woman with the, with the, the, um, the raccoon makeup? Well, anyway, Lady Gaga, she said Lady Gaga is not nice. I mean, I'm sure Liza Minnelli says otherwise, but Heidi Montag says Lady Gaga is not, uh, not nice and skewed her music career. Because Lady Gaga said, if you're not, you can only work with me, you can't work with her. Honey, this industry, everybody turns into robots, everybody goes askew, people are attacking themselves. Aren't you just happy? Isn't, this the, isn't Hollywood one of the happiest places on earth? Let's sing a happy song. Jesus, take the wheel. I slap Carrie Underwood. Jesus, take the wheel. Las Vegas will steal your money. The Academy Awards will steal your show. Look out, girl, she'll slap you good. From back to bottom, Miley Cyrus' bottom to Miley Cyrus' face. She'll slap you good, good, good. Jesus, take the wheel. Everybody's done lost their mind. Eh, like my body wants your money. <laughs> Nobody, nobody's ever slapped anybody for me. Jolene? Well, I think I've made it for another, to another show. My daughter slapped me, I mean, and I still survived this. Thank you so much for joining a special edition of Total Trash Live, where we discussed slaps. Remember that show, The Slap, on NBC? <laughs> there was like, a child got slapped and they made a whole show about it. And now it's an award show. Best slap. Best bitch slap. Oh, God. Well, I'll see you all next time on Total Trash Life. Thank you so much for joining us. Crystal gets slapped all the time. Well, of course she does. And I hope all of you have a slap happy Monday. Thank you so much for joining this special edition of Total Trash Slap. Tens across the board. Slaps across the board, everybody. Good night and good luck. I want to thank Lumina for this honor. Bye, everybody.